to begin with. It was kind of like a, a, so to say, blow to the face, you know, just a nice smack because you weren't expecting all of it. At first I was like, this doesn't make sense. I realized that it's a lot harder than I really originally thought it was. I think this was a good attempt to like my first time directing because I thought directors were super cool and I thought all they did was like say do this, do that. Um, I've started to have a lot more appreciation for movies. So I feel like the crew and how important their jobs are and how it's just not about the director, it's about everyone working together efficiently. It takes a whole lot of working and dedication. It was interesting because everybody has different abilities and you really have to take those abilities into consideration. We can teach others and from there go on and do things. The poem project is basically we get a poem. From there we had to do a bunch of presentations about the poem so we could like understand it better. We had to analyze it and then make a script that somehow had to um, incorporate it. Five different groups were made, all with a director, an assistant director, editor, all those things. And then we put those scripts into action and we actually film other actors and we make our vision come to life. The script writing process was fun. When I first started writing the script, it was really hard to get my ideas out on the page. I felt that it was very difficult sometimes to bring some characters to life. It's kind of hard to make sure that it's like flowing, but also still sounds like what a normal person would say. I realized that everyone was writing about romance. I wanted to write something that nobody else would, so I knew that people have a disorder where they actually think they're dead, and that kind of inspired me to write it. I have very odd ideas. Nothing uh, the, the normal kid would think of. I saw situations like this happening in school and I thought it would be fun to, to share a story about it. I think I was able to express myself. Mr. Sturpey really chose people based on like the type of person they are and like the poem that they could probably really connect with. I really wanted mine to be different, so I based mine off love for a donut. A lot of people didn't realize, like they didn't take it seriously, but I'm glad that a lot of people found it amusing. I guess it kind of just suits me, and I could take it to a place where it 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 uh, sound and look great. Right. It was dark, but it also incorporated comedy, which is like one of my favorite things. I feel like it was the perfect mix for me to receive, so I could work on it, and I could work on myself and putting my own twist on it. I chose to write a script on someone going away to the military because it shows how people move away and change is inevitable and it doesn't always have to be bad even if it doesn't seem like the best possible outcome. It was the easiest script for me to pretty much breathe life into because everyone's going to have to face those problems. I think I'm seen as a person that is really into those, you know, big life decisions. I was thinking about myself and a lot of other people, how when they describe themselves, they see themselves in different ways and we all have another side to us. I think the fact that we're the first group of artists to be a part of this project, it was really exciting what Brock told us about it because this is the first time we've ever collaborated with acting and it kind of like gave us like a little view into like their world. Working with the artists, it was really interesting. I think it was a really interesting experience because I wouldn't know what kind of like the filming process was like. They also gave some ideas with how we can incorporate the art and I think that it helped bring more meaning to the film instead of like doing like um, with charcoal and painting, we decided to do a film because, like, film is also art. The art, it was like, it really went with the poem, which went with the script. Our art pieces were incorporated by being in the background of the movie that was taken as the theme was kind of, like, prevalent. The art that we received, we put it in one of the most important scenes, which was the window scene at the end. We put it right next to the window so it could be seen in most of the shots that we took. It really should be shared with a lot more people than just the people who will see this film. We try to relate this to like experiences we've um, had in our lives. Mental health is really important and um, being able to communicate with people is really important. Sometimes you can't make other people change, you have to change yourself and just move on. Having someone going away where the possibility of not seeing them again ever is very real. It's okay to let go of your past, but um, new opportunities will still come your way. I guess it's 
harder now to make a movie, and now I actually understand that. Netflix is not really the same, because I recognize the shots like over the shoulder and like master shot and like stuff like that. It was different. It didn't really make any sense. And I like to work big with things like that. You know, these days everyone's looking for meaning in things. I can go either way. Now whenever I watch a film or think about a film, I just always take time to think about how much work was actually put into the making of it. 